when taking pictures of animals, it's easy to forget about the smaller side of life, the insects and mini beasts. I love taking pictures of them because they're accessible and I love capturing the detail of them. So here are a couple of tips to help you get the smaller side of life on your smartphone. When you're going out to take pictures of animals, sometimes the animals aren't going to come to you. You've got to go and find the animals. And that's particularly true when you're looking for insects and mini beasts. So we're here just on a, a local country path here. And I'm taking a look in some of the hedgerows under the logs and under rocks like this one here. Before we start lifting up any rocks, let's just have a quick chat about a piece of kit that I think will be useful to have in your pocket, and that is a macro lens. What this allows you to do is to get really close into your subject and show them as lifelike on the screen as you can. Let's take a look under here, nice and carefully, because we don't want to go and disturb any of the wildlife unnecessarily. And there we go. We have got a very impressive beetle there because you've got a very shallow depth of field. If you aren't at the right distance and you haven't tapped focus on your screen properly, then you will lose the focal point. The good thing about the shallow depth of field is that it does mean that some of the stuff in the image that you aren't necessarily drawing your viewer's attention to is out of focus. Really happy with that, really happy. You can see the hole that the beetle is hiding in. You can see it but it's not crisp and sharp. And that's absolutely fine because the body of the beetle is in sharp focus and the blacks and the, the light coming through from the slightly overcast sky here just glistens nicely. It's a really nice portrait. Of course, you don't need to live in the countryside to get great shots of animals and their habitats. And that's the thing, even if you can't find any animals, you can see where they live and, and how they live. I'm in the garden here and there's this old tree stump the bark has slightly come away from the main stump, so I'm going to have a peer inside because I can see from the outside there seem to be plenty of spiders and probably one or two wood lice in here as well. So, what I'm going to use to help make this shot work is just a little light. Because it's so dark in there, there's no natural light getting in there, the camera's going to need just that little bit of extra help. Could be any old torch or, or lamp really. So I'm just going to See, I can just rest the lamp just there, so I've got both hands to help me frame up. And, ah, there we go. So straight away, I found a spider's web. I don't think there's a spider in there, but what is in there are some droplets of water from the rain shower earlier, and they've caught up in the web. What I'm going to do, just moving the the light source a bit just to get the right glint, the right highlights on those droplets of water. Oh, that's really nice. It's, it feels like I'm getting this kind of privileged insight into something that I wouldn't normally see. And we're getting this shallow depth of field effect on the camera because it can't focus on everything that's so close up and the stuff that's further away. So again, it's leading the eye through to the middle of that image and to the cobweb there. 